Hey, what's up, guys? John here. Mark Zuckerberg is spending over a quarter billion dollars on a bunker in Hawaii. What does Mark Zuckerberg know that we don't? The Facebook founder is creating a compound which also features a doomsday bunker. This post, for example, got over 2 million views inside of the last 12 hours. This is how viral this is going. I mean, People Magazine, New York Post, every mainstream outlet's talking about this situation. But what they're not talking about is that Peter Thiel is doing the same exact thing in New Zealand. You have Sam Altman doing the same thing in Hawaii right now. You know, the founder of OpenAI and ChatGPT. You have even Ronda Rousey. You have Kanye. You have Post Malone. You have all these celebrities, athletes, millionaires, and billionaires doing the same exact thing right now. Why? Well, if you look at some eerie connections between that movie Leave the World Behind and this new movie that came out, that's coming out in the spring of 2024 in April called Civil War. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings. You can kind of connect some pretty interesting dots here. In that video, I'll do that for you. And I'm going to show you exactly what's coming most likely in America, which I believe is going to be an affordability crisis to the likes in which we have not yet seen, more division in this country than we've ever seen, and an angrier world, as they said we can expect. We will see definitively a lot of anger probably increase by the end of the year. We have to prepare for a more angry world. Who said that? Klaus, right? Klaus said to prepare for an anger world. Well, when you look at these connections, you're going to see something interesting. Please hit the like button, hit the like button. YouTube will share this content to educate more people about what's going on in America and the world. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for the greatest wealth transfer in American history, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. I have a prediction. I believe a lot of people a couple years ago were buying Airbnbs. I believe a lot of people over the next couple years will be buying ranches, properties in mountains, you know, second passports, properties in different countries, people buying backup plans. That's what I believe is going to be happening. I believe a lot of people are going to try to accumulate as many assets as possible to position themselves to do such a thing. Now take a look at this. So, I mean, breaking news, Zuckerberg is building a, uh, I mean, look at this, blind doors, underground bunker in Hawaii, 2 million views. Now look at this movie, Leave the World Behind. They say, each main character comes to the realization that the old world is never coming back. Now, if you look at what Klaus said, you know, in 2020. Many of us are pondering when things will return to normal. The short response is never. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. The world as we once knew it in the early months of 2020 is no more. So it's almost the same exact line. The old world's never coming back, right? The old normal's never coming back. But in this movie, it says Danny's not thrilled to see them. And the encounter becomes a standoff with the former friends drawing these at each other. Danny does not pass along useful information. First, he thinks it's either China or Korea or many, or maybe more nations, right, is maybe behind this event. So when you start to see this, and his neighbor has a bunker, right, his neighbor has a bunker in their basement. So when you see this, and then you realize, okay, Zuckerberg's been practicing Mandarin. Uh, I mean, this is 2014. I don't know if this is like an AI of him or an AI drawing of him. It doesn't look like him at all. Um, and all I typed in was Zuckerberg learning Mandarin. Now, when you look at this, you're like, okay, then you see this. Risk of war, right, with China, this is two days ago, Washington Examiner. You start to see this, like, you, this is like very interesting, very, very interesting connections. Now, this movie, Civil War, Civil War, this movie is coming out in April, where, you know, all the roads are blocked off, very similar to Leave the World Behind, right? Everything is basically, you know, coming to a grinding halt. Now, in this movie, they obviously it's about a civil war now ray dalio billionaire real not real estate investor billionaire hedge fund manager uh he probably owns a billion dollars in real estate though uh of bridgewater and associates what he said is ray dalio says the u.s is headed towards civil war he's been saying this over and over and over again for the last couple of years billionaire investor says the u.s seems to be on a path for civil war right he believes you know hedge fund billionaire warns that the this period could lead to it now, am I saying that's going to happen? No, but I'm saying he's saying that's going to happen, and he is uh, much more accomplished than I am, and he's much more accomplished than most people are, right? He's worth almost $20 billion, and he has access to information and people that we simply do not. Now, when you look at what Zuckerberg's doing, preparing for such an event, it's the perfect location for it. It's out in the middle of nowhere, right? Right, in, right, on, right in Hawaii, 
I mean, no one's going to be taking a boat there. No one's going to be pursuing that. And that all he basically has to do, if you look at how this is laid out, all you basically have to do is seal off the perimeter and you know he would have this whole it would almost be like a private compound overlooking uh, overlooking the ocean right so while he's sitting there uh, you know enjoying himself everyone else would be in a very very challenging position now look at this bunker look at how i mean look how smart this layout is for him because it's a 5000 square foot underground bunker escape hatch self sufficient own energy food water supply According to Wired, article on Thursday, citing sources and planning documents obtained through public record requests, construction on Zuckerberg's compound called Kalua Ranch is to be cost about $100 million, coupled with $170 million spent on land for the property. Total price tag is about $270 million, though that is likely an underestimate. The compound will have at least 30 bedrooms, 30 bathrooms, and a network of nearly a dozen tree houses connected by rope bridges so guests can move between them while staying among the treetops. There are also plans for two mansions connected by a tunnel linked to the underground bunker where there'll be an escape hatch accessible by ladder and heavy metal door filled with concrete. In the library, Zuck is planning to for blind doors designed to blend in with what looks like the walls. Meta did not immediately respond to a request for the comment. Zuckerberg's not the first Titan, right? You have OpenAI, uh, Sam Altman, right? Has a stash things like and gold antibiotics and mask, right? Even Red, Reddit CEO, same exact thing. Motorcycles, right, to prepare. Hold my house at some time. If necessary, he even got a laser eye surgery because he thinks it will help his odds. Like LinkedIn co-founder, same exact thing. Estimates that half, Silicon Valley, half of Silicon Valley billionaires have invested in some type of apocalyptic insurance like underground bunkers. Think about that, half of them. Now, when you look, at this estate and you look at what he's doing in terms of training he's been training for a very very long time here's a really good example look at this video here this video is uh i mean look at this he's practicing throwing spears and uh it doesn't end there and he's also practicing mma with some of the top fighters in the world getting in top physical condition i mean i mean that was actually a pretty good throw Right, and uh, you look at this, you know, bow and arrow. He says, "A trail I wanted to hike is out of hiking permits, but has plenty of hunting permits available." So basically, saying you can't walk here unless you also bring a bow and arrow. So I guess we're doing this, right? <laughs> look at this with style bender. You know, I mean, you see the writing on the wall. He says he only eats animals that he's killed. This is you know, 11 years ago. So am I saying that you know, he's been preparing for this long? No, but I'm saying that the decisions he's made over the last 10 or 12 years have definitely prepared him uh, more than most people. Now, when you look at some of these, I mean, you have even Larry here, right? You have all these people that are doing the same exact thing, getting, they're literally getting golden passports in New Zealand, right? Interesting. And then you even have people like Rihanna, like Post Malone. You know, Post Malone's been talking for a very, very long time about in the event that a situation does happen, you know, you might need, you have 72 hours maximum, you know, you, to get to where you might need to go, right? 72 hours maximum, if something did happen like that. Um, and he bought this, this apocalypse proof mansion in Utah for this. Last year, 2018, Post referencing in the U.S., as the biggest lie in the world, researchers went viral on TikTok. Suspicious star went on and urged people to move out of the country, which is why he decided to do it himself. According to TMZ, Post purchased his Utah home in early 2018 for three million. New York Post wrote he bought it with the intention of making it apocalypse proof. Right? Like, I mean, located in Salt Lake near in Salt Lake City, residence spans about 13,000 square feet and is situated on nearly seven acres of land known secure steel entrance originally built in 1986. Center compound boasts canyon, mountain, and city views. Unless you're in the proposed underground bunker, that is, that's it, that is. Once inside, should you manage to get in, you'll find five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, gourmet chef's kitchen, and of course a wine cellar, not bad for ringing in the end of the world, right? You have, you know, even Ronda Rousey doing the same thing. You have even you know Kanye has a massive, massive estate in Wyoming that even during the divorce with Kim Kardashian he did not sell, uh, he still owns it, and he also has a a bunker in uh, Malibu. You know he bought this place for like fifty five million bucks, fifty seven million, fifty seven point three, 
you have Steven Seagal. Uh, I mean, very, very interesting, you know, very interesting times to say the least. Am I, again, am I saying that we're going to be walking into end of the world? Am I saying, no, I'm not, but I'm saying they are, right? I'm saying they are preparing for it. It's something big to happen. And I believe what we're going to start to see is I believe over 2024 and 2025, we're going to start seeing a lot of people being forced to sell off assets. A lot of people selling off primary homes, second homes. We're gonna see a lot of people even that own properties in places like Texas, other areas that might be perfect for a situation like this, they're not gonna be able to hold on because they're mom and pop farmers. They can't keep up with the insurance and taxes and the changing economy and, uh, and they're gonna be forced to sell. As interest rates continue to remain higher for longer, we're gonna see a lot of people being forced off their land. We're gonna see a lot of people that have money, a lot of people that have businesses that can go out there and fund a purchase of you know, a piece of property like that. They're gonna go do that. I believe that's what we're gonna to start to see in 2024 and 2025 is a lot of people looking to buy these getaway properties, especially if we have one big event that leads to it, we're gonna start seeing people panic buying these left, right, and center. What do you think about this entire situation? What do you think about Mark Zuckerberg spending almost $300 million on laying out the perfect 5,000 square foot bunker on his estate in Hawaii? Drop below, let's have a conversation. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for what I think is gonna be the greatest wealth transfer in American history, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description to below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Monday, for tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.